What's up, YouTube? What's up, Patreon? What's up, everybody? How, how are we all doing? I promised I was going to do two Bruno Mars, and here we go. Here we go. We're mixing in another one of these new artists. Turn on the radio. Sounding like a disco. And uh, if y'all don't like this one, I'm, I think it's going to be a blast. But if y'all got anything to say about it, you can hold it against my friend Betty. Um, Betty's been a longtime supporter, one of the first on the Patreon. And we're Facebook friends now. We're Instagram friends. Like, yeah, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. It's so much fun getting to see people live their lives and then uh, come back here and be fans on like uh, of like the Bruno Mars thing. We can just like, I just like, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of fun getting to see it. But anyways, anyways, Betty, thank you so much for being my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a Patreon supporter for so long. Um, the link you sent me didn't work in Canada, so I hope this is the same one. Uh, it's Bruno Mars. Here, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Bruno Mars, Cardi B doing finesse at the Grammys in 2018. I think it's going to be a blast. I don't know shit about Cardi B other than she got in a little bit of trouble. Apparently, she can wrap her ass off. Um, and I've heard some people that I like really appreciate. I really appreciate their opinion say that. So, like, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check me out on Patreon. Links are in the description. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The Grammys at the Grammys. This is giving me like, uh, what was I listening to earlier? Um, 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 I can do this. I can do this. Uh, nope, not the Beastie Boys. Beastie, like similar kind of flow to like that kind of influence, but I'm not going to say the Beastie Boys. I'm going to say like Run DMC. Um, and I'm going to say, oh, it'll come to me. There was another, there was another kind of like flow that this like kind of reminded me of. Um, but anyways, um, it's, it's neat that like, I don't like, I don't know Cardi B at all, but like the minute I hear her voice, it's like, oh, that's Cardi B. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that. She's got that kind of like superstardom or something already that like, yeah, I mean, it, it happened to me and like, it's not my field, of, not my field, not my lane. And it happened to me. So this is, this is, this is gonna be fun. I like that. She's rapping on top of this. Okay, so we talk about the different renditions that they do with this all the time. And I can't remember if I've watched Finesse on here or not, but I've heard the song obviously a million times. It's neat to hear them doing these different shots. Like they did like a, like a minor seventh uh, shot here that I don't think I've heard. That one. Sorry, I think that was I would think that was a minor sixth to a th to the third to the first. I'm thinking. I think that's what it is. Who's a better musician than I am? Someone tell me what that was was. But it was neat. It's not in the original, and it's not in any other rendition I've heard. Okay. Okay. Come on, Bruno. You see, uh, you see um, Eric playing the claps there too, right? Because we talk about claps often enough. These microphones aren't going to make those claps sound any better than, <laughs> than anything else. They're going to, like the sample pad makes sense. Um, it's neat. And then like my, my opinion of this band and I'm going to get, I'm going to see if it's happening, but like when they play with live tracks, I honestly think that they just fill in like what's outside of their entire grasp because like you could do this clap as a track, but like he's playing it and it's like, he doesn't have to, he really doesn't have to, but he's playing it. Right. It's just, it's neat. It's neat. I like it. I also like, I also like that Cardi B left her like Cardi B swag on top of this too. Like I, I like that she did her Cardi B thing on top of this. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm, I was, I'm here for it. I I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I might have to get into some Cardi B next. Deciding how, deciding how nerdy we want to be. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Watch his mic technique. When he goes to the side of his mouth, it gets thin. And then when he goes for the big note, he holds it in front of his mouth and it's not as thin anymore. Watch. See, like. Hear the EQ difference? I don't know if you can, if you can hear it, if you got headphones on. So when he goes to the side, it loses a lot of like the bottom end and it's more like high, mid, mid. 
or high, mid, and high. And then when he does the second one, I think it's like the out. He's holding it more in, in front of his mouth and you can hear it like the EQ doesn't change. Watch. See? And it's just like, that's just like this cardioid mi microphones. It's just like, it is what it is, right? But it's just like, it's interesting to see. And he probably made that adjustment because he probably heard the change in his inner ear and he probably didn't like it. So he probably made the adjustment to hold it in front of his, in front of his face a little more. That's such a great fill that I love that. I love that. It's so simple, but it's just like, it just drives the point so well. Oh man. I was just thinking, I was just thinking it's neat to see Jamario restrained and do just doing the shots. Boom, boom. And, but then you see him do, like, you know, doing his typical Jamario stuff on top of it after. Like he's, he starts wailing in between and then he goes back to the shots. But they're, they're focusing on the vocal right now, right? The, uh, whatever the finesse line is. Dripping in finesse. So then he walks off from the ba -dip 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 -dip, and then back to the ba -bo. Just the two shots, right? Here. Oh, Bruno, that was a t that was a like a high harmony for him to st sit into because he could have like the melody is being replaced by someone else, but he could have stayed low, but he went up for the top note. Like what a what a rock star. Oh, you hear that kick drum? Dep, ba -da 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 -da. Like it was like, oh, he just snuck it in there. Just snuck it in. There was so much more. It's just like, it just, it just probably hypes the whole like energy up for like this dance thing that they're probably about to go into or whatever is about to happen here, right? The kick drum. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, oh my God, the jump around song, jump around, jump around. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. I love that sample. And all I can, all I can think, I don't know if my friend James watches these. Shout out to my friend James. His dad used to be like, this song sounds like a dying horse. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on. Come on, Eric. Come on. Come on. Drums. Look at this. Look at these two. Oh my goodness. That was, that is such a dope scene right there. I think that is, I think that's one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time for like a quick, like just like two superstars, like putting on a performance. That is wild. I didn't see, I didn't see Bruno get rid of his microphone, but I'm, I'm assuming one of the hooligans is going to hand it back to him. Cause I think I've seen them do that before. See, all of a sudden he had it again. Who gave it to him? Who gave it to him? So there it's in his hand. Oh, it's in his hand.
Uh, Bruno's just like wailing. He's just spazzing right now. He's letting Cardi do her thing, but he's spazzing right now. For it's like it's like one of those things. It's like if you know, you know. And Bruno's spazzing right now. Yeah, that was a blast. She might be the oh man, was that Logic looking bald? Come on. Logic, my boy. Oh man. That was a lot of fun. That was a ton of fun. That was hold on, hold on, hold on. That was that was a blast, man. I didn't like Car Cardi B come out and put on a show and then like pushing him around and then like doing the little outro stomp thing. Like she she came out and did her thing. Maybe I might have to check out some Cardi B, man. I had I didn't know. I didn't know she was a performer like that, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then, like, Bruno Mars and the hooligans obviously showing up. And, like, the dance thing was neat. I, I hate to say it, but I called it. I called it. I seen it coming. That kick drum gave it away. And I'm pretty sure he gave his microphone away, too. We should almost go find out. How long has this been? I don't really care. I don't really care. Let's see what he did with this microphone. Oh, he threw, he threw it probably to a technician. You see that? He tossed it. Yeah, someone catches it. This is probably where they gave it to him. Yeah, it's in his hand. So they must have gave it to him when she, when Cardi B comes out because like your attention gets diverted, and they're that pro. Like they're 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 for sure that pro to make sure that they articulated that or like they 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 set that up for the scene for sure because like they do all kinds of stuff. Like we talk about like how disciplined this band is, so they can have like the freedom to do whatever they want like that. Like I I for sure think that like the more disciplined, the more freedom. Like it's a direct comparison, and like this band is in my opinion living proof of that. But anyway, anyway, thank you so much for the request. I had a blast. I thought that, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'll do like, let's do some more Cardi B. What do we got to do? What's the next Cardi B one, especially live. I'd love to see some live stuff, but anyhow, thanks for the request, Betty. We'll see y'all again soon.